you're trying to break through and scale your business. You've probably been trying for quite a while. You've probably tried almost everything, like I did. But the thing is, guys, over 99% of businesses fail. Why is that? This isn't the Olympics. You don't have to be born with something in order to succeed. It's not the high jump. It's knowledge. There's something that over 99% of businesses are not doing so that they're failing, that the businesses that are winning and succeeding are doing. And the thing is, guys, I went to Stanford University. I'm close personal friends with a lot of founders of all kinds of businesses, from what was the world's second biggest affiliate marketer to the founder of Instagram. And we're very good at studying. And what we've found, this is on the leading edge of consumer psychology, is that all those businesses that are not commodities businesses, that are breaking through and scaling are doing one thing. I know it doesn't look like they're doing the same thing, but we're about to dive into that, show you, show you how to do it, show you how to break through and scale so that you can reach your dreams the same way that it allowed me to. I'm excited about that, and I hope you are too. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you're a man between about your mid-30s and mid-50s, then this in particular will apply to you and will help you break through and scale your business. I'm Dak and I wrote Entrepreneurship Solved because there wasn't any kind of complete enough guide out there to make sure that anybody that wanted to break through and scale their business could do so. Whether you're selling physical products from home or from a drop shipper on any platform, or you're an online coach, maybe you're a physical fitness coach, maybe you teach people how to trade stocks, maybe you teach people how to improve their own lives, maybe you teach them how to hunt mushrooms, or maybe you have a physical store, maybe you run a local store or studio, maybe you're an affiliate marketer, anything where you need to accumulate a lot of customers, even a YouTuber. This is exactly what all of the businesses that are doing that have a large customer base from Starbucks to Whole Foods to Facebook to Tony Robbins are doing to be so successful and scale so much. Now, if you're an oil company and you sell a commodity, this probably isn't for you. But for almost everybody else watching, this is exactly, this one thing is exactly how all of the businesses in your shoes are breaking through and scaling. And there really just is not another way to do it. They're all doing some form of the same thing. And I'm going to show you why and how. Hey, Gary V, what's up, man? You know, I was wondering, how do you scale a business? Well, first, you've got to eat a lot of blueberries. I eat blueberries like it's my job. It saves so much time. All you mothers out there, you're just wasting so much time eating. Okay, so after the blueberries, then what do you do? Okay, so you're gonna make content for the next three years and you're gonna put it on TikTok. See, everybody's on TikTok, it's all about the attention. And you just keep putting it up there and keep making content and then people are gonna love it, it's gonna scale. Eventually you're gonna do something that hits and it's just gonna scale, man. Content, it's about the content. Just don't buy the New York Jets, because that's for me. Don't buy the New York Jets. It's my thing. Content. But what if I want to scale my business now? And that kind of sounds like guessing. It is. Without diving into my entire story, which you don't want to hear just yet, I ran a business that did over seven figures when I was pretty young. Then I tried to switch businesses and start something that was more scalable in a bigger market. And it just didn't work. I wound up spending all of my money and basically, literally going broke. I then was stuck for over three years on that. It was absolutely terrible. And that was despite the fact that I went to Stanford, that I know all these top Silicon Valley entrepreneurs I could ask at any time, that I read everything by Russell Brunson and Gary Vaynerchuk and all that. What I want to show you now, starting right now and in the book Entrepreneurship Solved, is how I got unstuck and how being in that position showed me the solution to almost every problem you might be facing because I went through it all. At the end of that rainbow, I wound up getting to live out my dream, which is really what I want for you. 
I had a list of everything that I wanted to do before I died. Bucket list, if you will. And I was super fortunate that I got to do all of that right before I turned 30. I got to fly in a fighter jet and break the speed of sound. I got to go to Vietnam, buy a motorcycle with a friend, and ride up and down the coast. I got to go to six of the top 10 restaurants in the entire world. I got to do everything that I wanted to. I got to hang out with celebrities like Rob Thomas and Lindsey Vaughn. I'm gonna show you a bunch of pictures of that. It was really awesome. I really want you to get a conception for what's possible for you. thing is guys this isn't about me though this is about you I want you to break through so that you can live out whatever your dreams are your dreams are probably not the same as my dream that's fine if I can do all of that stuff you can do whatever it is your dreams are I got to hang out way more with my friends and family whenever they wanted to do something I was able to take that time off and do it I had the resources to do it whatever your dream might be I did almost all of that when I was only making about 20K a month. I wasn't even a millionaire yet. So it's extremely accessible. You can do the same things. You just have to run a business that has the right fundamentals, that is scalable and follows the one thing that separates all those successful businesses from all the failures. And we're gonna go through that. This is going to be both comprehensive so that if you're just starting, it's fine for you. And we're gonna go deep so that if you're an expert, you will absolutely learn a lot of new stuff. And what is that one thing you ask? Emu farming. They use one-fifth as much land as cattle, they're adorable, they're super friendly, and they fly. What's that? They don't fly? And they don't even fly. Their milk makes you fly. No, no, don't farm emus. Disregard everything he said. So what is this one thing that basically all successful businesses are doing? that basically all the failures are not doing. Is it some trick? Is it something complicated? No, it's a concept. It's a way of doing things. Effectively, all the successful businesses, whether they're Facebook or Starbucks or anybody, they're all using the tools at hand, which are different for each business, to create relationships with customers and then do that in a way that they can scale it. So they're not just presenting their products. They're using multiple exposures and a lot of time of exposure to create relationships. Now let me ask you, in your business efforts or what you're thinking about doing, do you have a way, do you have a way to use tools to connect with customers on a different level than all of your competitors? Because if you don't, you're one of the ones who's not doing this one thing or you were about to be. And that's why we're giving away the first part of the book for free because you can dive in and learn a lot about this directly. Because don't you hate it when people are like, sign up for my thing and I'll give you this free star chart. And you're like, thanks, dick. I don't need a star chart that's irrelevant. That's not what this is. The book was long enough. We just cut off the beginning and just give it to you. Why? Because that helps form a relationship. And to make sure that you don't go down that same road that the 99 plus percent of failures go down. Because it has to be done this way. If you don't do it this way, I hate to say it, but you're screwed. If you don't do it this way, you can go out and study all the businesses in the world. If you're not doing this and you're not in a commodities business, you're screwed. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. And we don't want that for you. I don't want that for you. If you're motivated enough to be here watching this, I don't want that for you. I know some people are going to get offended by this, but guess what? I'm not talking to you. You guys can go and watch another YouTube video. I don't really care. But for the people that do care, this could potentially change your life. And I guarantee it will change your life if you use it properly and if you engage with it and if you just do the work. It's all it takes. Knowledge, creativity, and work. Do you really want to be an entrepreneur like this? It's all I can afford to eat today. I better save the rest for tomorrow. Guys, please, if you learn anything from this, 
please do one thing. Do not try to go out and reinvent the wheel. I know you're smart. You're probably one of the smartest people you know, or you wouldn't th be thinking about trying to start a business. I know, like me, you're probably stubborn. Or you wouldn't be thinking about trying to start a business. But please, do not go out and just try to reinvent the wheel. That's how I got stuck for over three years, because I thought that I knew enough. And I did know 80 or 90% of the picture, and it's that last 10 to 20% that make all the difference. Because we've given people so many tools to start businesses and put out their agendas that it's gotten incredibly competitive. It's like an Olympic sport now, and I should know because I was a near Olympic level athlete. And at that level, you cannot do it yourself. You have to have a coach. So you need to learn from other people. There's millions of people go out there doing experiments right now, and there's people studying that and bringing that information to you. You have to learn what's rising to the top in other people's efforts and do what's working and then find the two or three areas where you know best and I absolutely did know best in two or three areas and innovate in those areas while doing best practices in the other areas. That's how you win. That's how you win. Now worst case scenario, let's say I'm completely wrong, I don't know what I'm talking about. You get the beginning of the book for free. Read the first 10 pages or so and you'll know whether or not it's going to be valuable to you. What else could you do with that time? You could probably go to Starbucks and get a cup of coffee. You probably watch part of a TV show on Netflix. You probably watch two or three YouTube videos. Worst case scenario, that's all you lose. No money, a cup of coffee, or a couple YouTube videos. Best case scenario, I do know what I'm talking about. I went to Stanford. I'm friends, close personal friends with the founder of Instagram, as well as a lot of other Silicon Valley top entrepreneurs like Lisa Falzone who started Revel Systems and sold it for over $100 million. The guy who's three or four on the team at Airbnb, also worth hundreds of millions. I've done over half a million dollars of ad testing myself. Best case scenario, I know exactly what I'm talking about and this changes your life. I would say if you execute everything in here properly, it should be worth at least $150,000 to you over the next two years alone. Best case scenario, just trying this, just seeing for yourself and forming your own opinion, just starting it, showing us where to send it. We'll send it to you by email. Just tell us where to send it, start it, and see for yourself. Because it really, really might change your life. But whatever you do, do not just reinvent the wheel. Go out and learn from smart people what the best practices are, and then innovate in two to three areas. Guys, please, give it a shot and see for yourself. I'll see you on the other side. So this right here, this is the free first 10 chapters of the book that you can get right now if you just give us an email and tell us where to send it. You see, this is great information. This is not some just free giveaway kind of a thing. This is the beginning of the book and we're gonna dive into exactly how to do all this. But two things guys, first off, you really, really, really need to start right now because this is the easiest time to talk to people, to form relationships and to get sales that there's been in a long time. Why? Because people are bored. And that doesn't happen much in the modern world. The second thing is that you have to form relationships in order to create profitable, scalable sales. We'll talk over and over and over again about why it has to be that way, but when you accept that and you do it, it will change your life, it will change your business. Everything will change for you. You just have to form relationships. Otherwise, it's like running up to somebody on the street who's never seen you before. I mean, like, buy this, buy this, buy this. It's the greatest thing ever. Could be the greatest thing ever. You're going to freak them out. They're not going to buy it. But if you form a relationship, and then if you have an irresistible offer, you're going to create scalable sales. What's an irresistible offer? Now, I like this. Russell Brunson just talked about this. Would you buy this phone, my phone, for $1,000? It's got a crack because I was just doing this demonstration recently. It's got a crack right there. Would you buy this for $1,000? I'm sure you wouldn't. But now think of this. I'm close college friends with Kevin Systrom, the founder of Instagram. Imagine if you could get something in front of Kevin Systrom, the founder of Instagram. Everybody he knows, he's a billionaire. What would that do for your business? What could he help you do? I'm also close friends with Michaela Schifrin multiple time Olympic gold medalist with over a million followers, rabid followers on Instagram. I'm also friends with Lindsey Vaughn's brother, another Olympic gold medalist, you've probably heard of her. What could they do if they were associated with your business? Another friend of mine, Nick Lippin, is the manager for Matchbox 20. He can get you in contact with Matchbox 20. Well, guess what? You can talk to all of them from my phone. 
All of my customers, they're in my email. All of my notes, everything I know about business, it's on my phone. Now imagine what you could do with this. Would you pay a thousand for that? Plus the phone, 2,500? I bet some of you would pay 25,000 because you know exactly what you would do along with the founder of Instagram or with Lindsey Vaughn or with these other people. That's an irresistible offer. This changes everything when you know what's really involved in it, when you know why it's exceptional. It has to be the right offer. You combine that with a relationship and you will sell. But you got to get started right now. You do not want to let this period in time when people are bored and it's so easy to talk to them go by. You want to seize that. And you don't want to be wasting your time and your money anymore. You want to break through. Do it the way that all successful businesses do. Break through, make it happen, and make it happen now. Go and just tell us where to send this and we'll send it to you right now. You get started and we'll show you exactly how to do all of that, how to break through. And I will tell you right now, this will be the most valuable, most helpful, free thing you ever get in your entire life. And I'll bet you, if it isn't, you can send me all the nasty, angry emails ever that I wasted your time and you tried reading it. But if it is, you all have to email me and tell me how cool and handsome and awesome I am. Fair enough? This will change your life. There's everything just in here that some of you need to make millions. Yes, as you continue through the book after this part, it will help you speed that up. But this will be the most valuable free thing you ever get in your whole life. It will change your life. Get it now. Don't wait.